Hello, I'm Yannick Bivanov. Uh, I'm one of the co-authors of our paper, Smaug, the Scientific Multi-Authorship Corpus. I'm from the Webis group uh, in Weimar and Leipzig, and at Webis uh, we've been working a lot in authorship analytics. So let me give you a very brief introduction into the topic. Authorship analytics deals with the analysis of writing standard texts. And this uh, can be phrased in two different ways. On the left hand side you see the authorship attribution scenario where given a text in question uh, and a set of candidate authors who also have written their texts, uh, you want to match these texts and see uh, who, who of these authors wrote the, the text in question. Whereas on the right hand side you see uh, the task of authorship verification where we're not so much concerned with the authors themselves, uh, we're only given two texts and we want to uh, find out whether these two texts were written by the same author. But since we're working with uh, text pairs in both scenarios, you might already see that we can rephrase the attribution scenario also as a series of verification scenarios. And that's what we've been doing uh, at PAN. We've been organizing shared tasks uh, on authorship verification since 2013. And in each of these years, not each of them, but almost each of them, uh, we had a task with a new data set. And these data sets were all a bit different, but they all had one thing in common, and that was that for each text, we only had one single author. So if you wanted to do real multi-authorship uh, an analysis where multiple authors contribute to the same document, you would need a new uh, data set. And that's what we created. So we created SMAUG. SMAUG, the Scientific Multi Authorship Corpus. What does SMAUG contain? SMAUG contains more than 3.3 million scientific publications from the core data set for which we could uh, get the open access full text. These texts are a mix of multi-author documents and monographs, that is text written by only one single author, and since the core data set doesn't have the cleanest metadata, we matched all the metadata with the Microsoft Academic Graph to clean it all up. This is what we ended up with. Uh, we had in total 3.3 million documents, of which around a million are monographs, whereas the rest are multi-author documents. The text length varies between less than 3,000 and more than 250,000 characters, but most of them are in the middle range of 5,000 to 50,000 documents. One thing that is always very important uh, when you create a new authorship dataset is to control for topic, uh, since that is the easiest thing to classify usually, and we did that by matching the scientific disciplines from the Open Academic Graph with the DFG classification of scientific disciplines, research areas, review boards and subject areas. Uh, this classification schema has four top level research areas which are engineering sciences, humanities, life sciences and natural sciences. Uh, the natural sciences are a bit overrepresented but overall uh, all four research areas are relatively evenly represented. Here we see the number of authors that we have um, and on the y-axis, uh, on the x-axis you have the monographs per author and on the y-axis you have the multi-author documents per author. So uh, on the top left hand corner you see that we have 20,627 authors who have written one monograph and one multi-author document. Whereas on the bottom left hand corner you see that we still have around 1800 authors who have written one monograph but 10 multi-author documents. And this distribution is very important to know because then you can take uh, a monograph of an author and try to match their style with what you can find in a multi-author document where maybe they've written parts of it, maybe they've mixed their styles with others or maybe they haven't even contributed to the writing process even though they are part of the author list. This is what the data set itself looks like. Uh, we have 16 keys of which uh, four are IDs, four core, DOI, 
download URL and also the academic graph ID then with the metadata of the publication itself so authors, issues, year etc and then title, abstract and full text. You can find all the code that we used and some documentation uh, over on our GitHub uh, and the data set itself can be find, found in Sonodo. Uh, the, all the information contained in this data set is uh, public information but since authorship and data sets are always a bit uh, sensitive we thought the best to grant access only on requests but if you want to use it for academic purposes then you can request access to the data set no problem. If you have any other further questions, feel free to contact us. Uh, WebSDE is our web address, uh, and otherwise, I thank you for your attention.